Hi, this is Sunshine Animation. This is a new channel. Please like my channel, subscribe, and share. Today we'll be talking, we'll be doing a tutorial on smudging. Okay, how to smudge your pictures. Now we have two apps that we're going to be making use of. We're going to be making use of the Snapseed and the Autodesk Sketchbook. Okay. So now this is our snap seed. You click on the snap seed. You click on this plus sign. Okay. And then it will take you to be making use of our picture. Now what do we do? We have to click on tools. Okay. Then click on details. So now we are going to be increasing the structure by placing your thumb on it and then you swipe to your right. Okay. So make it 50. So this is 50 now, okay? And then you can increase the sharpening if you want. You can increase the sharpening. And then you click on good. There's a good sign below. Click on it. And then you export. Click on export. Then click on share. So we are sharing to our Autodesk sketchbook. So this is our Autodesk sketchbook. And now we are in our Autodesk and sketchbook and wall so now we are going to be picking the tools that we we'll use in smudging our face so how do we go about it first of all you have to duplicate a picture okay you have to duplicate a picture so now click on the little passport if you want to get a new layer you click on this fifth icon that is above if you are using a smartphone yeah you, you click on this fifth icon that is above you click on it then you click on this plus sign to get a new layer but now we are duplicating click on this original copy this little passport that is at the side click on it and then click on duplicate then you see the first one that we have earlier just click on the eye icon that you are seeing inside click on it and then it has closed like that. So we are making use of the second one. Okay. So now we are going to be picking the tools that is needed for this work. So the tools that we need for this work now, click on this little dot that is below. Then click on this pencil that you are seeing. Then look for a smudge brush. Okay. We'll be needing a smudge brush. That is our smudge brush. Then click on this white, um, that black color. Then you will have different color palettes. So we'll be needing a black color. So if you if you want to get a color without going to the color palette, just place your thumb on that color, on that black color. You can leave the black color to make use of it. Just swipe down, okay, to make it black. So pick your brush smudge brush under smudge so go to setting you can set the flow make the flow four percent four percent then make the strength four percent as well okay so your size can be any size now what you do just zoom the lady's face with your two finger just Spread it, spread your two finger on the screen, and then it will zoom. So then you start smudging. So you are going to smudge the whole of her face. So just continue smudging. Smudge. Do not smudge her lips. Do not smudge her hair. Okay, just clean. Use your thumb to clean. Very easy. Okay. Use your thumb to clean, clean every particles on her face. Just clean every particles on her face. Make sure you zoom your work to get a perfect cleaning. And when you want to reduce the size of your brush, or increase the size of your brush just click on these little dots then put your thumb on the brush and then swipe to the left to increase you can see the brush is increasing then when you want to reduce
just swipe to the left to reduce the size. Okay, that is how it works. Just follow my lead. If you really want to understand it, I will advise that you get exactly the same picture. So follow my lead. So just smudge every part of our every part of our a body, all our naked body that is showing, smudge everything. So just continue smudging. Now, after smudging the whole of our face, you have to make sure you smudge a body. This open place that you are seeing, you have to smudge it. Okay? You have to smudge it so that it will blend with the face. Okay, so when we are adding our texture and everything, colors, we'll be adding to this our chest too. But if the person is not putting on a dress, it is okay not to smudge. But since she's not, her dress is not covering her neck, so we just have to smudge it so that it will blend, it will blend better. So make sure you smudge everything. So this is it for this part. Now we are going to be adding colors to this lady's face. Okay, we are going to be changing our face. What we need to do now, we have to create a new layer. Okay, so we go to our, where we get our new layer from. You click on the plus sign to create a new layer. So now on the new layer, click on it, then go to blending, click on multiply, then you go back. So now, and we look for your pen okay we need a felt pen so this is your felt pen where the blue um marker is that is your felt pen under the tradition then you look for the color so we need a brown color you can see my square arrow on it and e57 so you click on it and then you go back then you zoom okay sorry it's too wide then reduce the size of your brush okay for it to be perfect then you continue. Continue smudge. Use it to rub all her face except her lips. Except her lips. Okay? Or every part of her body use your color. Including her eyes. And do not color her hair too. So just continue. Do not color our lips. Just always zoom your work to get a perfect, a perfect work. Reduce the size of your brush. When you don't reduce, you have difficulties. So I, I love doing the inside of the lip first before coloring the whole of our body because that is the center of attraction.
so this is it you continue with the other part increase the size of your brush and continue your work so you smudge everything color everything don't color the hair do not color the lip so now having colored the old part of our body we are going to be duplicating the image so now you click click on your work click you see this multiply click on it and duplicate okay you click on the multiply that you just duplicate now click on blending and click on color dodge okay you can see our color is changing then click on color dodge click on duplicate then the color dodge that you just duplicate now click on it and click on color okay and go back the color that you just duplicated now click on it click on blending and click on soft light so this this next color dodge that we just create this soft next soft lights that we just created now we'll go back go to our color then click on this pop color and then view five then you go back so then you come to this compacts with a ruler on it click on it you see few okay so click on few click on view then tap on the image you see the color have changed make sure you look at the image very well because the color might not spread everywhere then you click on this good sign okay so that is all for this side now now we are going to be changing the opacity okay so you come to this multiply you come to this multiply click on it then you reduce the opacity you reduce or you increase the opacity to your taste okay increase or you reduce to your taste okay you go back to the next one you do the same until you get a perfect color that you want go back Click on this, reduce the opacity. And I, you see, it's going back to the former color now. Okay. So now what we have to do now, we have to merge all the work together, okay? Click on it, click on multiply, you merge it, click on color dodge, you merge, click on color, you merge, click on soft light, you merge, click on the next soft light, and merge. So now we have two colors. So we are going to be moving on to the next step now. We'll be cleaning all the backgrounds and removing all our hair. Okay. All our hair and the background. So what we are going to do now, what we are going to do now is to click on our eraser. Look for eraser. Okay, hard eraser. You click on it and then you increase the size. So you remove all the unwanted background. So remove all our hair.
So I reduce. Make sure you don't take it down too much. Remove all the hair. Trans always do your work. So this is all for this part, you can see. So now what you are going to do, you are going to create a new layer, okay? Click on it, on that plus, create a new layer, then pick the new layer by placing your thumb on it and move, put it at the middle, okay? So we are going to be giving her the hair back, okay, with another texture.